out of the four titles, like what was your favorite like title you guys won together? I'll go with the the first one versus Seattle. Really, uh, why? With the Seattle Seahawks because that was that got ent- entered us into the um, the Super Bowl club, baby, winning a Super Bowl. I mean, you just wanted to get in that Super Bowl winning club. When we beat beat the Seattle Seahawks, I mean, we got in. That was our first ring. It was one of the most memorable ones because it was one of the best Super Bowl games in the history of the Super Bowl as well. There's no doubt about that. I mean, the Seahawks were up twice, like by 14 or, or by 10 points, and then we came back. They went up again by 10, then we came back. And then Malcolm Butler, to seal the deal on that interception with like 30 seconds left in the game on the one-yard line, is just an incredible story, man. So just overall, it was such a team win, too. Brandon LaFell scored a touchdown. Amendola scored a touchdown. I scored a touchdown. And Julian scored the game-winning touchdown as well. So it was a team contribution overall. And Shane Vereen had about like 12 catches for 140 yards out of the backfield. So everyone contributed. It was a team win, and it was the most memorable one as well. I wonder what was going on in your mind when Malcolm Butler like intercepted. Because that was just like crazy to me. It was. The very last second. I mean, you it's like one yard line. Right? Yeah, uh, I didn't think we lost yet, man. I, I knew we had I had some confidence in the defense. I knew something was going to go down. They had a miracle once again with with a catch that one crazy catch they yeah. had on the drive for like 30 yards. It was a miracle. That's for sure. And uh, but I just had some faith. I knew something was going to go down. I was kind of praying for an interception or a fumble. I was thinking of a fumble recovery that we we're going to have within the 10 yard line when they got down there. But I mean, it was saddening. Uh, it was heartbreaking when they were driving, and then they were in field goal range, and I was like, oh, crap, they're about to score a touchdown. But then Malcolm Butler came through, man. I was just sitting on the bench, and I never felt my body it just jump so fast up out of my chair, out of my seat. So just what a play by Malcolm Butler, man. He just he put us right back up on, on the map when, uh, with a Super Bowl Insane. victory. What about the Super Bowls? The Super Bowl you won with the Bucks. How does that compare to the ones that? In yeah, New that one's legit too. I'm gonna put that one as number two. That's for sure. Really? Yeah, because number two, number when we beat Atlanta, I actually didn't play in that game, uh, which is cool, man. Because I, I was having a good season that year. I would actually say I was having the best season of my career that year. I had the best camp of my career, and I pulled my hamstring. It was my first muscle like I've ever pulled playing football. And uh, I was dominating camp, man. You were putting three guys on me. I was I was just <laughs> trucking three guys at once. No DB, no linebacker could cover for me that year in camp. And I pulled my hammy. Tom was suspended those four games as well uh, because of the, of the deflate gate. So then I came back like the fourth game. My hammy was still aggravating. We lost to the Bills like 13 to three. They finally beat us. The whole city of Buffalo was going crazy. I'm from Buffalo. I'm like, you guys beat us. We have no one. Like Tom wasn't there. My hamstring wasn't there. Our other two star players were out as well. And then uh, boom, Tom came back. My hamstring healed as well. It was about eight weeks into it. So I was ready to go. We had Martellus Bennett as well as the other tight end. And the five games I played that year, actually I played four. I had 550 yards in those four games, I had like three touchdowns. Marty B had like 300 yards and like six touchdowns. So we were going to be like the best tight end combination out there since like my my second year in the league. And we were absolutely dominating. And then I got hit up the middle. I was going up the middle. Tom threw me a pass versus Seahawks. Earl Thomas, absolute rocket, the hardest hitter in the game, I would say, at that time. I was looking at the ball, and right when I hit my fingers, he came running full speed, and I was running full speed up the seam. And he drilled me right in my chest. I punctured my lung and popped a disc in my back. And then I was Jesus out for Christ. the rest of the season. So unfortunately, I didn't play that game, that Super Bowl game. But, you know, I showed him the way in training camp. And I showed him the way how it's done in the five games that I played. But, uh, yeah, so that Super Bowl, you know, was cool. But I didn't play. So I can't rank it number one or number two. Rank, and rank then, the champions. And then, the, yeah. okay, so Tampa is number two by far. Mm-hmm. First one was versus Seattle because of such a good game it was. And then... um and and how it ended and all that and it was the first one got me in the Super Bowl club and then the Tampa Bay one was definitely number two by far. I mean, going down to Tampa, they haven't been to the playoffs in ten to twelve years or or however long it was. They had a good team. They just needed to get over the hump and going. You know, Tom going down there got them over the hump. Then adding myself to you know just another target to get them over the hump. And then we had a season. We were seven and five at one point. Won eight games in a row. Went on the road to new orleans to washington and to green bay won three games on the road which we were i think not favored to win any of them and then we had a home game it was the first home super bowl game ever in history that someone's ever won so the game was at home after winning three on the road and we beat the chiefs who were about to go back to back as well so 
I'm glad we we beat their ass or else they would have like three or four rings by now. So that was uh, the second best one by far. And then the third Super Bowl ring, I would say, was my last game with the Patriots when we beat the, uh, what were they? They weren't the St. Louis Rams. They were finally the uh, Los Angeles Los Rams Angeles at the Rams. time. We beat them 13 to three in that Super Bowl. And then uh, yeah, that's the ranking right there, baby. Talk-